we talk about faith for bad times, but, but you also need faith in good times to actually believe the goodness of God is not going anywhere. So here I am, Ghana, West Africa. I traveled from Tanzania to West Africa for the first time about a month ago. And if you don't know me, this is Vevante. Born in New York, Jamaican roots. Some would label me as a Pan-African, to say the least. Yo, we here in Ghana, Ghana on the beach. We're taking to for the tour. So we're hungry, we're going to grab some lunch real quick. I was invited by a friend, a Ghanaian friend I had met in Tanzania who became a mentor. And I was invited to be a part of this football project called 13 Foundation. Ah, and what do you know? Just when I was in the need of a mentor, God blessed me with his wonders and sent me just that, right on time. Yeah, so apart from that, our mission is scouting raw talent from rural areas in Ghana. My friend who's the head of the whole project has found talents capable of becoming world class. The players are given opportunities of a lifetime when they're able to travel outside of Ghana, gain wealth from their craft as a reward to their skill. They can bring wealth back home to Ghana, Africa in general, and help make it a better place. side and you see we've got all the players behind us they're training right now because they have another game coming up so see this is actually their first time training on the beach because what they were saying before it's pretty rough so right now they're getting a lot of new experience you know being out here on the coast for the first time a lot of these kids are coming from way northern Ghana like in villages where you would never expect star football players but this is where they at in the city, I'm blessed in the field, I'm blessed in my uprising, I'm blessed in my downsetting, I'll be blessed into my old age, I'll be blessed when I'm an old man, my grandchildren will be blessed, my body is blessed, my body is, my mind is blessed, my head is blessed, I got this, I can handle it, I can do it, bring it on. Lies that it's too much, then you're going to feel overwhelmed and you'll get stuck where you are. This is what happened to the Israelites. Moses sent 12 men to spy out the promised land. 10 came back and said, Moses, we'll never defeat them. 
They look like giants. We don't have a chance. God had already promised them the victory. But notice what they were thinking. Weak, limiting, fearful thoughts. Joshua and Caleb came back with a different report. Yes, the people are big, but we know our God is bigger. Joshua and Caleb weren't any bigger than the other spies. The only difference was their thinking. Ten men infected the rest of the people. They ended up wandering in the desert for 40 years. Don't get infected and miss your destiny. Like the Israelites, God has already promised you the victory. It may be tough now, but keep the right perspective. Victory is in your future. Abundance, freedom is coming your way. I did that thoughts are also seeds. Thoughts are also seeds. And I like what one man said. He said, you can't keep a bird from flying over your hair, but you, over your head, but you can keep him from building a nest in your hair. about the 13 Foundation Project, the, the, the players. Okay, so I, I think I've, I've come to meet a couple of them and they are really training hard and they're playing hard at the moment. So um, and I'm really happy with the whole idea of trying to scout players and giving them a much more uh, positive or let's say a good exposure for them to really put their talent like to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Africa to the world. Because, you know, football is like more of a European sport, so it's hard for them to get recognition. Like, what we're doing is helping them get the exposure they need, and, yeah, we change their lives. Mm -hmm.